But first, because they're not going away soon enough, the headlines breaking in the administration's 50 running scandals. Bush. Number three, gay gate. 66 members of the United Nations are supporting a measure urging the world to decriminalize homosexuality. Nearly 80 countries still ban it, some punish it with stoning or torture, or in the six in which it is still a capital offense, hanging or decapitation. The declaration was proposed by the French, the French with their right-wing government. It is opposed by the Russians, the Chinese, the Islamic nations, and George Bush's America. No comment yet from Pastor Rick. The internet porn I'm addicted to is all straight. Warren. Number two, Environment Gate. Now we know why the Bush administration pushed through a midnight regulation insisting federal agencies could not consider the global warming implications of a given project. So that Mr. Bush's corrupt head of the Environmental Protection Agency, Stephen L. Johnson, could rule as he did last night. Any last-minute applications, he says, by utilities to build new coal-fired power plants may not be reviewed for greenhouse emissions or its impact on global warming. This even though the Supreme Court ruled last year that the EPA can regulate the top global warming gas, carbon dioxide. Johnson is a global warming denier who has gone so far as to suppress global warming findings by his own administration and lied about it to Congress. Well, he's now vaulted a higher hurdle. Stephen L. Johnson has, in effect, overruled the Supreme Court. And number one, a new Gonzo gate with extra added Condi. Speaking for Dr. Rice, Alberto Gonzalez, while White House counsel, appears to have lied to Congress about the infamous 16 words in the 2003 State of the Union address about Saddam Hussein and uranium in Niger. In 2004, Gonzalez answered the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence's request for testimony from Dr. Rice because the then National Security Advisor refused to testify. He wrote that the CIA had twice orally cleared the uranium claim for use in Bush's speeches. Unfortunately, the House Oversight Committee has now turned up evidence that Gonzalez, speaking for Rice, was not telling the truth about those two oral clearances. One of the writers of Bush's speech on September 12, 2002, has told the committee that the White House instructed him to include their uranium lie, and when he did, the CIA rejected the claim, refused to clear the use of the language because the story was, quote, not sufficiently reliable to include it in the speech. Then the uranium crap was included in Mr. Bush's speech of September 26th. The deputy director of intelligence at the CIA told the committee that she personally phoned Condoleezza Rice, quote, recommending that it be taken out. So Condi wouldn't testify. Then Gonzalez responded on her behalf and put lies in her mouth.